All right, guys, uh, this is the Sentry Arms Visca. Uh, this is the MOE version, so it's got all Magpul furniture on it, uh, which is really nice, actually. Um, I like Magpul stuff in general, um, it always feels really comfortable, but to be able to buy a gun uh, with the Magpul furniture already on there is, is pretty nice. Um, uh, this is a, a pretty nice gun, and I know there's a lot of people on the internet that say that uh, Sentry Arms uh, is crap and all the stuff they make. Uh, the imported stuff is pretty good. Um, and what's funny is I was one of those guys. Uh, same thing. Uh, went back. I started getting an AKs about 10 years ago. This is my third one that I've had. And when I got my first one, it was a Zastava uh, OPAP. And it was a pretty nice rifle. Um, I had a um, AMD 65 and it was pretty cool too. This rifle out of the three that I've had is the best finished one. Like it seems, the fit and finish seems very nice. The milling seems very nice. Uh, whereas some of the stuff, some of the Romanian stuff like that, uh, if you look at this picture right here, uh, this is from a Romanian gun, and you can see down inside there, it looks very rough, uh, but on this one, looks pretty clean. It's amazing uh, the difference here. This has all been CNC'd by a machine, and obviously theirs was all done by hand. Um, but this rifle, uh, whereas Sentry had some issues, uh, I didn't. I didn't buy a Sentry, and I, and I wouldn't have bought this one had it not been for uh, Rob Ski and looking at some of his videos and seeing that these are pretty good. He ran 6,000 rounds through one of these, uh, and it did pretty great. Um, so most of the time, I would not have bought a U.S.-made AK, um, but this one really seems like a pretty good gun. Um, so pretty, pretty awesome. Um, the uh, the trunnion and and a couple other things um, in the gun are actually tooled uh, out of S7 uh, tool steel, uh, which is pretty awesome. So, whereas, uh, you know, before they were casting a lot of these parts, uh, cast trunnions are not good, right? We all know that. Uh, forged are the best, right? So, a forged, you're taking a large amount of metal and squishing it down into a small amount of metal and then cutting that out for the piece that you need. That's the strongest you're going to get. Um, with cast, you're saying, I want my metal to be this. You fill it full of metal, and it's just not very strong. This S7 tool steel is very strong. So they're taking a block of S7 tool steel. Now, this is the steel that they use on, um, you know, chisels and all kinds of like that, and on uh, uh, excavator teeth. Um, so really strong steel. They're taking that and then milling out the parts they need. So this is milled S7 tool steel, and it seems like it's pretty strong stuff. The bolt um, is cast, but then it's case hardened. Um, so it's carbonized as they call it. Um, but it seems to be very, very nice. Um, and we'll go, th go ahead and take it apart. So drop it down here. There's the dust cover. Now you can see in here that uh, inside the rifle, it seems to be done very well. The trigger actually feels very good. Uh, this is their, their Rack 1 trigger group from, from Sentry, but it feels very nice. Um, it uh, The uh, retainer here, instead of just using the wire retainer, they actually have the plate already in here for you. Um, so there's a, a lot of things that they've added to this rifle, and the action is super smooth compared to most AKs where most of them will really grab. Like most of them, if you just slowly drop it, it'll grab somewhere in there and hold itself. This one won't do it at all. And if you do it fast, it just feels super smooth. Um, so I, I'm really impressed with it. Now, the thing is, is it can look really good, but if it doesn't you know, stand up to the test of time, uh, then, then that's a different story. Now, for me and most people, you're, you're not going to be running 60,000 rounds through one of these rifles. It's just not happening for most people. Now, there are some that are going to be out there, and they're going to run 10,000 rounds through a rifle in the next, you know, five years maybe. Um, and that's a lot of shooting. I'm, I'm not going to be shooting this gun that long. This, this gun will last me forever. Uh, I do plan on shooting it a pretty good bit. I plan on having fun with it. Um, but from what I've seen, I, I probably want to hit the 6,000 mark like Rob Ski. Um, 
but this seems like a, a very, very nice rifle and very well put together. I'm, I'm just super impressed with it um, by the, the fit and finish and the look of it. And, and I am not <laughs> a Century guy. I'm not even a USAK guy. Um, I was just like everybody else. But, but after doing a, a lot of research and some of the other rifles, um, like some of the Riley Defense and some of the other US made ones that uh, did not stand up uh, and some of the early centuries did not. I mean, they, they just weren't good. Um, so the, uh, th this seems better put together than some of the Romanians and Russian ones and stuff like that. Uh, but those guns work great too. Um, back when I first, like I said, about 10 years ago when I was looking at AKs, I had a guy that told me not to get a Wasser. He was like, do not buy a Wasser because there's people having issues with it. And some, some Wassers do have issues, but by and large, most of them do not. And here's the thing, most of the people that complain about Sentry Arms rifles have never owned a Sentry Arms rifle, right? There's a whole bunch of hate on the, on the internet and it's mostly from people that have never owned it. And that's how most things go, right? And most people that hate on anything that you have have nothing better or nothing different. So there you go. All right, guys, so it is really windy today, um, but uh, I got 20 rounds in here. This is the P-Mag that comes with it. I've got uh, a couple of these. I bought an extra one, and I bought a uh, metal mag, and I don't know, I can't remember where it was from. I think Korea. Uh, so drop it on down here. See how it does. First 20 rounds there, it is starting to get pretty warm. It's amazing, it's, it's a pretty hard hitting round. That's not beating on my shoulder or nothing, but the 7.62 by 39 just feels really good. Like it's a high powered rifle. I mean, it, it, feels, it feels good. Um, pretty sweet though. There you go. All right guys, so here's our target. And I was trying to aim right at the middle of the target and you can see that they're up and to the right. Uh, just a little bit, but hey, for the most part, they're on paper, and uh, out of the bag, that's pretty good. Uh, you can sight these in and work on that, uh, but AKs, you know, AKs are not inaccurate like everybody says they are. Uh, they're actually fairly accurate, um, but you can make them even more accurate, but as far as, you know, combat goes, this is perfect for a combat rifle. You're on paper. You're in the middle of the chest. That's perfect, so there you go. Look at this trench that it dug in back here as the bullets came on through. That's pretty wild.
Uh, what'd you think? It's okay. I don't like the position of the stock, though. Right. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people like, uh, you know, an extended stock, putting a adjustable on there, and then your face is pretty low, so having a, a red dot or an optic or something up here that brings it up just a little bit with a cheek rest, I, I think would probably be more comfortable for you. All right, we got four more in here. We'll run them through. All right, guys, so this is uh, the Korean metal mag here, so I'm just curious to try it out. So we'll try it in the gun, so. So this gun uh, was completely dry when I got it. Like it had n nothing in it, hardly at all. So I did go through and clean the whole thing and oil the whole thing. And I tend to use a little more oil than I should, but uh, that's why we're smoking up there. But uh, this thing worked flawless. That's all of our rounds. And uh, we'll, we'll open it up and look on the inside, but. All right guys, so looking in the rifle now, um, it looks pretty good. Uh, I don't see anything yet. Like I said, that wasn't uh, one of the ton of rounds, um, but that looks pretty good. Everything in here looks looks really good. Even the the inside of the bolt down in here, bolt face, everything. I don't even see hardly anywhere. There's a few light scratches on stuff as it's starting to seat in, but nothing that uh, obviously would cause any alarm. Right now, you can see some some copper on the feed ramp uh, down in here. Um, nothing, like I said, nothing alarming or anything like that. So, there you go. First initial thoughts is it, it seems like a very, very nice rifle and it seems to work really, really good. Like I said, this is a metal mag. It's got some wobble. The P mags don't have hardly any wobble at all, uh, but it even shot perfectly fine to those and I shot fast right there and it did really good so initial thoughts I'm super happy with it um, I don't know that I'll ever shoot a ton of rounds through it so it should last me forever uh, but if you want to see some stuff like I said go on there there's a few different uh, youtubers that are doing uh, you know big 5,000 6,000 round test Rob Ski with the AK Operators Union um, he's the reason that this is the one that I got this was from watching his videos. So uh, pretty cool. So anyways, glad y'all guys could uh, check it out with me and hopefully enjoyed it. It's a beautiful Sunday out here. The wind's been kind of blowing, but uh, uh, God's blessed us with a beautiful day and I hope he blesses you. I know we're having a rough time right now, but just remember that, uh, you know, I love you, God loves you and we're there for you. Appreciate it guys.